And welcome back to Replaced, ladies and gentlemen. This one's point man, Von Mom, Doc Wild Code. Welcome you back to a hard game. Even though, by this point, sadly, Spooky Month will be over. But, nonetheless, I'm doing hard. It's my life to do as I please. This is my channel. <laughs> anyway, um... And, uh, in the last segment, Gray, or however Dan is pronounced, had broken in against Vic's permission, so this should be interesting to see what happens now. <coughs> hey, wait! Are you supposed to ask permission for one tree? That's what vampires do, not vampires. There you go. I mean, like a human being. Did you not hear me? I'm a reaper. Oh, she's way too committed. Oh, this is Corkin. Yikes, nooses though. Eh, damn. The others walked in behind me and flipped on the lights. I think we had to bust the doors out so you wouldn't answer your phone. We think this is part of some weird prank that you're doing, so hopefully it's part of the act. Don't say we! This weird girl is the one who wrote down. I'm not going to take any responsibility for what's happening to you. As we entered the home, I noticed each time brought the home bags, bags inside. Zombies now walked over towards the kitchen. The form began unpacking bottles of alcohol and one of the countertops so the ladder began to arrange boxes of packets and snacks into another. None of the food got wet, did it? It's all plastic packaging, so it's dry, don't worry. So it's the umbrella girl who's pulled. Hey, it just tapes, wow. It's going way back. <laughs> Let's pull out multiple pieces of this tapes and David Tate's house back. So there's even plugging various wires into the five TV and DC uh, DVD combo player. Despite being worried about their friend, they didn't seem to watch that much. I doesn't seem to like to find him. I know, right? It's easy. What's this say? Of course they were all the human. They can't smell this corpse from far like I could. Took a stuff of the eye. The acrid bit of sweet smell was more intense inside the house. There was no doubt that the body was in here somewhere. I didn't need to rush to find it. That would just make everyone here frantic and hard to talk to. I chose to take that moment to come to glean some information out of them. Before I picked the things individually, I wonder if that would become a, an actual thing in this game. Taking people's brains. It would help me to gather up all of them first. Now it's just this happy Halloween. Breaking and entering. Achievement unlocked. Okay, I guess. Didn't really have to do anything, it just happened. But anyway, that's fine. You probably admit that. Ask what it is you have brought with you. You seem more preoccupied with unpacking things than checking all of your friend. Well, we couldn't just leave the stuff out in the rain. Yeah, Victor is pretty strict about making sure we had everything in place for the party. As far as I'm concerned, we still have to set everything up for, it, for it when he shows up. When he shows up? Right, because the whole thing is just a prank. You're in on it, right? I gotta say, she's got that uncaring reaper attitude down for sure. I take offense to that. I'm that kind of what I need to be. Indeed, I've always seen the reaper. Well, I've been always seen him, but in recent years, like in the last decade or so, I came to see him as hating his job, as what he has to do. I mean, who would want to take the lives of everyone? Like, take them from this plane of existence who want that kind of a job and uh the song hurt 
Originally by Nine Inch Nails, but later covered by Johnny Cash, wrestling with Zevin's SP King's name because he served in the military as well. I uh, see, see that as his theme song. I'll put the link to that in the description. Let's just stay step a festival. Ha! There she is. There, she just admits she, she was working. I will seem to just go through one and not the other with these people. Now that I think about it, we haven't been introduced. What's your name? Great pet. That sounds made up. It's a strange name, of course it's made It's a stage name, of course it's made up. Yes, it was made up by somebody. Just like us all of your names also. Technically that's true, I guess. Why are you quitting us like that? I'm waiting for you to tell me your names. How? Huh? You don't know our names? How would I know your names? Just read you on a few minutes ago. I, I mean, that's true, but... Didn't Victor tell you your names in advance? I still thought I was part of some prank. I shook my head. Yeah, are you sure she's not like some lunatic witch still in from the forest? Which is we're not being allowed to have the uniform. Yeah, but now our missus would obviously have a pet and broomstick, though. That's not what I meant. So you two are Mia and Bernard. Yes, I'm Mia, Yoshida, and that's Bernard. Interesting. Sounds like a name of like Japanese descent, but she doesn't look like she's from Japan. She has blue eyes and everything. Maybe her, her dad is of that descent, and her mom is Caucasian or something? Bernard Hahn. Wait, why do we all have those names? We're still doing big fraud! How would you do that with just our names? I, I don't know. I just don't want to get by proofs and details out so easily. Yeah, that's the point. It's only far to give out your phone that after I give out mine. I don't even know this real world name! Well, her name tag is part of my uniform. I slipped into the amethyst on my outfit to show the crystallized name inside. What about the zombie? What is his name? It's Kai Durand. Excellent. That well acquainted, I'd like to ask the group some questions. So if I away. First question I saw you out all gathered outside together. So around the same time. No, I was the first to show up here. But now I set up next and I found a meal. So you suit up first, guy. That's what I just said. And there's always that when you first back. Gosh, how to look back at the open door. Yeah, I'm not going to do a random door but they couldn't show up. So I just waited a couple minutes. That's when the others show up in their cars. We each shift in here on home. We had a few events from before the party was getting started after all. That's probably referring to all the food, things not the same that they brought. I'll just, I'll just ask each about them later. When did you check the windows? Maybe a couple minutes after we all arrived and tried to call a picture. We figured we'd check around the house. Yeah, when we could cost you all money, so Kai and I went outside the house and she while she waited up front. You're making me sound like a jerk. I'm not. The writing is starting to come down a bit harder, so I don't believe you're trying to stay out of the dirt. That's funny considering you're all done for your Kai. It's just a costume, it's not exactly waterproof. Regardless, did anything else happen while they were standing outside? Watch them. Inspecting the house. No. The curtains on the windows were closed, so we couldn't even see it inside with our phones. And we couldn't really hear anything aside from the rain. So they had no idea what the state of the house was until they got inside. Was that the liberty of just a coincidence? Nothing happened while I was waiting up front either. And how long were you alone for? 
haven't been more than a couple minutes, maybe like three minutes at most. Then Kai Bernard came back. He had a couple minutes pounding on the door some more, kept on Vic. And then you shut up. I say it like you. I've better cross with the time now. I set up for us, so we couldn't have been, you know, I'm about to take some pictures, because apparently, from what I understand, this is a murder mystery game, so I need to remember this. I set up for us, so we couldn't have been inside or done something while he was now. Not that I really saw any evidence of that, but I should have just keep the possibility in mind. And Mia was only alone for about three minutes. This might have been enough time to tamper with something. I know that I'd have to keep my eyes open for anything that seemed off. Just make me up. Okay, that was awesome, that last line. That seems like something I would film more almost. This room seems extremely well decorated. Someone puts a lot of work into it. That's big for you, a perfectionist. So am I. I. And that can be a mixed blessing at times, but not when it comes to decorating for Saw Win. That, you should go all out on. What do you mean he doesn't have to? Of course he should. Everyone always should. Please. He doesn't have to go out on there, Jason. But he does. I think it's kind of sweet the way he does this for us. So tongue at the damn pointed out trunk to all scared the bejesus out of me. Oh yeah, that was a good year. <laughs> so he does all this himself? Yep, always likes to meet the party big surprise. Seems like it's that way this year too. I think you're part of the decorations now too. I know decoration to be gawked at. Right, right. No, well, that's everything. Let me just get back to pulling out all these bottles. I'm paying to pack up, and I don't want anyone tripping over them. Go ahead, Austin. Clean himself for the time being. Mm-hmm. New clue has been recorded. Did I notice the player I got? That's not for Prey, that's for you. Prey solved this mystery. Okay, interesting. At the end of the investigation, you'll get another message before the video. See if you can feel. Interesting. Cool. This will be fun. I love a good mystery. So let's see. What's this clue? The house decorations. Okay. Playing along with Gmail. I'll have to open the clue screen for the first time. I'm going to take a picture of this with my phone. Okay. The lounge of the house is extremely indicated, including fake frog goods, nooses, creepy paintings, fake spiders, bad stickers, and jack o' lanterns. Of course, the others picked us all of the cream cell. Right? Okay, here we go. I sat back and let the others get back to their duties. Not that I was going to sit for too long. I wasn't time to get personal. I'd still have a small chat with each of them before I gave them a slight push to find out what their friend had, been, had disappeared to. Okay, so let's go. Alright, yeah. Let's see if any of these being clicked on become anything. No? Go down the line, I guess. Walked over to Kai, who was organizing the bottles. Drinks range from sodas to whiskey to even some water bottles. It's with tamper proof seals still open. He was always so aware of the people messing with their food and drinks. But the selection you have there was a party without alcohol. To me, you don't need booze to party. That's, that's just me, though. To me, drinking to get drunk is overrated at best. I'll see. Alcohol isn't the to just have a good time. Amen. CC gets it. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, what makes things better, that's for sure. Big news that as well as anybody, that's why he asked me to get tracks. Does there any particular reason why I ask you specifically? Because I know for the, all the best places to get without sacrificing quality. Cheap. 
The one who has so much range here is known very good crit boost is a handy skill. One I've perfected over the years. What an impressive skill that must certainly aid you in the future. I mean, it probably comes in if you're on budget. More importantly, I can mix this fix and some real tasty once the party gets going. Oh, so this fits a fellow who doesn't have to choose to be the bartender. That makes much more sense. You invite me around as friends, there's not much more to it than that. How long have you known him for? Since we were in kindergarten, I think, so quite a long time. Okay, so I'll take a picture of that just in case. Known each other quite a long time. Guy's always been a bit of a weirdo. No, not weirdo. I mean, sure, he's weird, but he's more hmm, eccentric. That's the word. Isn't that the same as weird? Weird is like ins insulting. What are you talking about? Weird is a good thing. If not for weirdos, there would be no America, the single weirdest nation of all time. Our forefathers were, of course, speak them and so with their names. They were pretty weird going up against what was at the time the most powerful combined army and navy in the world. Edgar Allan Poe, he must have been off his rocker to write stuff like The Telltale Heart and uh, The Case of Ron Seattle and that kind of thing. Albert Einstein, uh, he clearly had to something with him, and indeed, the very first, uh, not, I was going to say the very first Dr. Clockpiece, but it wasn't him who said that. Aristotle, the greatest philosopher of all time, as I say, had said, there's no great genius without some extra madness, and indeed, all of those aforementioned I've said about have proven that. They both mean strands that I've thought there, but I think I suppose that eccentric has more possible competition. He's that the witch is a good guy, but he tends to get caught up his own thoughts sometimes. Okay, take a picture of that just in case. I know how that is. I have Asperger's, it's a gift. Many consider it a disorder, I do air quotes as I say, or a so called disease, but it's not, it's a gift. That's why we bounce at each other so well. I'm the growing force that keeps him around me other than clowns. Oh, how sweet. She was in the car, wait. I know, right? <laughs> Don't make it sound so savvy. That's just what good friends do for one another. You'd be surprised how many good friends are true that I can't tell. That's their problem. They're trying to go way back. We have a part as strong as steel. I see. Eh, that's true, I guess. Poor guy, it won't be long after all until you find out the even steel can be set. By the way, you have a favorite drink? I'm pretty good with salvages. I don't drink that often, but I could go for a whiskey sour. Oh. His face dropped as he looked through this collection of bottles. Is that going to be a problem? Well, sort of. And I'm bringing lemon juice. I thought whiskey sour was orange juice and whiskey. Not really know all that much about drinks, but I thought that's what that is. Isn't lemon juice a common ingredient to a lot of drinks? You just forget to buy it. No, if anything, I've never not. I don't know the start. I think there's a problem with lemon, so I'm not going to give him anything that might have lemon flavor in. What about the others? What if they want a lemon drink? Then they can be good friends and have. Their second choice. Now, I've got to look after the cave drawer. That still doesn't make sense to me. Apparently, he's allergic to lemons, I guess. Don't worry about it. I'll make you something else later, alright? Okay, if you say so. I'll leave you for a little guy to make shift bar. Yeah, I'll do just that. Okay. No clue has been recorded. Interesting. I've cut it all moved back to the center. Okay, so what's that? Drinks? Okay, so take a picture of this with my phone just in case. Okay, variety of bottles and liquid juice making and mixing drinks. Colds, ginger ale, vodka, whiskey, root beer, and orange juice. 
of the temporary proof seals are intact indeed I thought that might be a, a thing that was important and Kai brought this to the party okay okay I saw to talk to me I was busy plugging virus swaths into the television What's that missing? I don't wonder all the time. Yeah, this guy drinks his snacks, so I got stuck in movie duty. Don't use the real wires, then you might, then we'll get the right sound of video. Old tech is so annoying, indeed. Okay, take a picture of that, just in case, because that apparently is something important. And you have to get all these movies as well. Parts that they look at the collection of VHS tapes and DVDs on the table. Game of Misfortune, Void Space Technique, The Investigative Conflict, Detective Stewart, Screwship Killings, I see Annabelle. Okay, that's gotta be. I'm not sure if the rest of these. I'm guessing this is a take on Blank Space, a game also by these same developers. Um, Annabelle, though, that's gotta be. Both the name of the doll and uh, gotta be a take on that, and as well as Annabelle Lee by a Crown Poe. Ray Viv, I have no idea how it's pronounced, I probably butchered that. Interesting collection here. Yeah, some of these are bona fide classics. Interesting, another new clue, what's that? TV cables, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ancient and untutored tales and cables, true. And bona fide classics, huh? Takes a lot of pictures on these. Hope it doesn't take up too much room on my phone. Well, yeah, I'll just get rid of them later. It's a new phone anyway, it shouldn't take up too much room. Collection of bona fide classic VHS and DVD movies that brought Game of Misfortune, Void Space, Technique, The Investigated Gauntlet, Detective Stewart, Cruise Ship Killings, I See Annabelle, and Ray Rave, I guess that's pronounced Vive, Rave, something like that, I have no idea. I don't know how this thing about the echo, the first echo, uh, affects things and what. What language that's from or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? Is there a reason why I watch them on old VHS tapes and DVDs? You could probably stream them. I suppose so. Makes things these sort of uh, horrific charm watching old media on old technology. Makes sense. Did you pick this up so slow? Some of them, yeah. Big news that I've got good taste when it comes to hard release though. Okay, again. I was saying this earlier in my first recording of this. We need to have this girl available as a dating option to us dudes in at least one future game for these devs. She's a big time horror fan. So we gotta have her available. That's how we met, you know? In school, a cult club. A cult club, damn. <laughs> a damn for the cult club. I wasn't even trying for that. <laughs> and a cult club? Yep, a lot of people are part by scary stories in the cult mix, but I think they're fascinating. Interesting. Take a picture of that. Uh, every culture has its monsters, ghosts, and spirits to watch out for. Why not learn how the horrors of the world manifest to each of them? That's a cool point. That's actually a very intellectual way to look at it. Thanks, I take my research seriously. I can tell. The outlet looks pretty accurate for Castle of Black Eye. You've got if you're covering one leg, you represent that one leg, right? You get it! Oh my gosh, I never thought I was going to see... Uh, no, I thought no one was going to see all the effort I put into this. You must be in the cult for yourself. Not sure, this kind of influence comes with my job. 
Right, because you have to fish it by playing farts, don't you? So, what have you said? There would have been more hassle that was worth talking about at that point anyway. In that case, you might find up trying up your game with some other ideas. Give me a second. Mel started looking around the living room until she found a particular book and laid it out on the table. I found this masterpiece in the old library it was still in off books that had been for years. What exactly is it? Catalog of all sorts of monsters, spirits, and cryptids. Detailed sketches and descriptions. She reminds me of another game I played, Scarlet Hollow. I'll put the link to that in the description as well as the link to the Wounded Warrior Project, which is supported. A truly wonderful network you still support, ladies and gentlemen. It supports our vets when they come home from work, helps them PTSD, helps them get work, and, uh, uh, it's just a truly wonderful network in general because it supports our nation's finest. And, um, yeah. And uh, it reminds me of in Scarlet Hollow, there was uh, the option at the library to look through all kinds of books on various monsters and cryptids and such. That was a really fun game. I can't wait till it's out in full. I want this to Victor because he likes to use it for inspiration whenever we have these parties. I see. Uh, thank you. Come on, I need to close through my eyes. You can take a peek. <laughs> I promise that from being knowledge and reading won't burn your eyes out. Thanks, that's for the sword. Those big eyes were glad I'm expecting that. I had a feeling there wasn't any way I couldn't get away without at least entertaining the book with a glance. <sighs> What's so big about all this? It's awesome! I did tell the descriptions and sketches of four monsters. Werewolves. Powerful beasts of night, the child's form from moon to powerful beasts made with ravenous hunger and frosted. Contrary to popular belief, the, the transformation was more akin to a blood explosion, with all the skin bursting apart as wolf like creatures pushed their way out of the skeleton. Ugh, gross. Similarly, direct contact with the light as we try to trigger the centrifuge. But even then, it is only doing a fall. The best, deal to the best way to deal with a wild wolf is to simply fire. Simply to execute the human will to brought back to his full form. Werewolves can go back to being human and are exposed to moonlight for extended periods of time. I moved on to the next session. Double gangers. Monsters in disguise. These monsters are able to steal the skin off the dead and use it all to their bodies to match. While no one hurt the dangerous on their own, the doppelgangers desire to fit in sometimes cause them to murder to find their skies or call for them safety. When they steal the skin off a of first corp, they shall gain access to their memories and personalities and are unquote perfect at skies. Take a picture of that just in case that's any kind of a clue of any kind. They even inherit physical conditions such as poor vision, intolerance to milk, or even a recently contacted illness. Doppelgangers use the diamond shaped claws to dig deep into the body and tear it off without damaging the rest of the tissue. Techniques that have served them well for many years. Be on the lookout and trust nobody. Be on the lookout and trust nobody. Again, I'm reminded of a film noir. Awesome. That was actually an interesting read, indeed. Reapers. Or someone. Something on my card I was curious to see what they managed to get right and what misconceptions they conjured up. Reapers are servants of death, ushering the cease to the final resting place. Correct, though it was such common knowledge that they knew when they'd be written down. They usually take the form of a skeleton shrouded in the cloak of darkness, although they are bent the sea. What? Where did they get where did they get this information from? Why do humans always jump to the wrong conclusions from the supernatural is involved? 
Yes, we have skeletons. That doesn't mean we can just walk around all bony. Like they're horrible skies. There are many flavors of reapers. Each type specifies to mean certain deaths. Grim reapers, laughing reapers, withering reapers, darkness reapers. Technically true, though I'm not sure the names are perfect match. I do hurt dealing with those overly joyous reapers, always laughing and smiling about stupid deaths. I suppose the common use of words to help some souls move on, but despite the differences in name, they all sought the same common powers of being able to sense death and charm the old souls. Sure, we also have a few more tricks to help ourselves blend in without being nose and trouble first the way. I personally don't mind a bit of fame though. Their work is unyielding and never ending, leaving all reapers there. We've doomed all reapers living long and lonely lives to mass death cost and express. We certainly live longer than they than re they realize and longer than they like to be able to comprehend. But only hardly. Reapers interface with one another very frequently. How else could we hear the claim when we read complicated souls? And our jobs often help us in contact with many humans, even to a home for a brief moment. And that doesn't toss away useful service, though if a reaper is callous enough, the happily assigned role to someone more worthy. Not that I have to worry about that. Now on to the last one. Slimes. Extremely fair and extremely dangerous. Slime is able to suffocate and digest organic matter with this exit body. Alright, the blob is a take on that. It's filmed from, I think it was all the way back in 1950. The first one. 